I will show you a simple loan agreement as an example. First of all, I will start with the title of the article and continue with the wording of the paragraph. Now I need to insert a field where the amount will be entered. All elements can be easily inserted by drag drop from the menu on the left. I can insert articles, paragraphs, and subparagraphs as well as single elements from which the clauses are made. Now I insert the money element to this paragraph. I continue with other text. I finish the text and the first clause is completed. Now I insert the new article concerning loan handover and at the same time, I insert the first paragraph therein. Now I want the user to choose whether the loan will be handed over in cash or by a bank transfer. So I insert the element named Select into the agreement. In Select Detail, I simply insert the cash and bank transfer options. Further, I name this Select so I am able to use it in conditions. I insert other text right behind Select. Because I want this text to be a part of the agreement wording, only in case the user chooses the option, the loan shall be handed over by a bank transfer, so the conditions will be added to the text. I chose the name of the Select I have inserted a while ago, and choose the option showing this text within the agreement wording. It's that simple. Now the other paragraph regarding the signature of handover protocol will be inserted only in the cases when the loan is handed over in cash. I will also add the condition that the paragraph shall be displayed only in such a case. I add the interest article. I let the user choose if he wants the loan to be with or without interest. I can't forget to fill in the help for the user. I insert the new article concerning the loan return. I want to have the user choose between the return of the loan lump sum or installments. Unfortunately, this is not something I could do with use of select in the text, so I have to use the radio button. First of all, I will insert the question for the user. Now I add options. The first paragraph is intended for the return of the loan lump sum. The second one is for installments. I will insert a sub-paragraph for the installments. Of course, I have to add conditions to the paragraphs. As you can see, the conditions can be copied. I set up the subparagraph adjusting the installments repeats as many times as requested. So first of all, I name the text field where the user stipulates the number of installments. And now I will set up to repeat the subparagraph according to the text field. I'm done. Simple loan agreement is complete. And now, it's your turn.